Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning. Um, and, uh, it's, I'm, it's like almost seven o'clock, so I'm not, I'm not late, but I'm late in my head. Um, okay. I realize this is probably one of the most unflattering outfits of life, <laughs> but it's comfortable. <laughs> and I just have a lot of running around and stuff to do at work, like not necessarily in my office today. So let's just, okay. <laughs> I just showed you guys this shirt. I, it goes down a little bit longer in the bag. Is this from, I guess it's, it's called rainbow something or other. I will try to find it and link it below. Um, and I guess they were, they were a star. Oh, my little thing. You can like button it up. Can you see that? You can like button up the sleeves. I just have them rolled up for now. But anyway, this is a tank from Maurice's. This is a Stella and dot crescent necklace, Stella and dot rebel drop earrings. And then these boot, I boots, boot, these boots I got at Avenue and just black leggings. Super comfortable. You know, so I've already packed up my lunch. I got to put on a jacket, which does not make me happy. Um, and this, <clears throat> my cute little Thanksgiving table has been overtaken by blaze orange. It's just the way things go this time of year. So, um, yeah, with that, I'm going to pack up my stuff here. We are going, I got to show you the sunrise. We're going out for fish tonight with my mom and dad. And I think Wiser is coming as well. Kim's out of town and Chris is doing something. I'm sure you can't remember. But anyway, let's just, I mean, can we just, oh, Lord have mercy, it's cold out here. Isn't that pretty? Answer me. <laughs> oh, I got myself up. So, and my face today is just the Lorac Pro Metals and the Lorac Pro Matte combined. And then a Liz Watier, Watier, Watier something, um, liner beneath my other lash line. And then the YSL number, Nine on my lips, the rouge, pure, rouge pure couture. It's pretty fancy for me, but I like it. All right, I gotta pack up and get going. It's 7.01 and I usually like to be driving by seven o'clock at the very latest. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it's 4.30 Saturday morning. Yes, I said 4.30 Saturday morning. So um, <clears throat> my alarm went off at four because I forgot to turn it off. This one is up early. Morning. Because, um, so I realize that this is controversial and everything, but let's just respect each other's <laughs> beliefs in this, I guess. I don't know. At any rate, it's hunting season. And um, what I mean by that is that it's gun hunting season. So how many think, how many people in Wisconsin do you think gun hunt, honey? 600,000. Oh, 600,000. It's a pretty big deal in Wisconsin. Tradition. It is tradition. Um, oops. Oh my gosh, you guys have sent all of my biotin into my hand trying to get it out one-handed. Um, and so and it's for us anyway, it's really important that the um, herd gets thinned um, or we will have a lot more fatalities on the roads and that sort of thing. So. Well, and they would starve. And the deer would starve because there's just not enough food to withstand the size of the herd that we have. For the winter. For the winter, right. Summer, not a problem. Right. In the summer, <laughs> you hear commentary by Bob. Summer's not a problem, but the winter is a real problem, and so they would die of starvation. <coughs> anyway, we're we really, I'm not, I don't want to get into it again. No, we know it's controversial. We, it, it is. But, um. But it's I always just, a big weekend. It is, yeah. It's the opening weekend, so. Right, this is opening weekend. And a lot of people, if they can't go opening weekend, won't go at all. Right. Because I don't know why. Because that, that one is one of them. You don't know hunting. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know hunting. That's true. Nor do I care to. We're going to buy our old now. No, we're not. <laughs> people, it, help me out. <laughs> I need the paper. Oh, boy. Do you see, <laughs> do you see what I'm dealing with here? So he's pretty excited about going sitting in the woods. Um, I'm going to go, I think I told you guys in the vlog that you already saw that I'm going to Appleton today. I need to get an oil change. I need to go to Sam's for coffee for Bob. The K-Cups, we get them in there because they're the least expensive there. I need to go to Kohl's to get socks, which sounds ridiculous, but Kohl's is the only place that I can find. I feel like I've talked about this before black and brown socks that don't fade. It's really tricky. And um, understand this, in Shawano where we live, there is 
one, there's only one place I can shop for socks, Walmart. That is it. That is the only place. We used to have a Kmart, but that closed. Um, I don't know. Maybe we have a Marisa's. Maybe Marisa's sells socks, but I don't know. I just want plain black and brown socks that don't fade. Is that so much to ask? And the ones that I have are starting to have a little, like, where they're going to have a hole. You can see where it's wearing through and they're going to have a hole. And no. Um, I want to show you the flowers. They're really pretty. They're opening up nicely. You still can't see the color of that vase. I'll try to get a shot of it early or later in the day. Um, but anyway, so I should tell you guys, I'm giving serious consideration this year due to the, um, crazy that it's been my life. As far as decorating for Thanksgiving, I may, or for Christmas, I'm already decorated for Thanksgiving. I may legit just put up the tree and nothing else. I don't know. I feel like, I, I feel like the tree would be sufficient this year. We have a lot going on and I feel like Thanksgiving is really close to Christmas. I don't know. Did what? I tell you that? I'm thinking about just putting up the tree, nothing else. But the other thing I want to do, which, which, you know, deters me from going that way, is that I want to go through all of the Christmas totes and stuff that we have and get rid of the stuff that I never put up and take it to Goodwill. So I may do that next, um, next weekend after Thanksgiving. Yep, and then when you go through it all, it'll be all up. Well, yeah, but the point is, what I was trying to say is that that way I could get it to Goodwill before the holiday season so yeah. there's there's stuff in there it's not that it's crap christmas decorations it's just that i don't use a lot of them anymore so i feel like it might be a good time to go through that but he's probably right once it's all up here and i'm going through it then i'll probably put it up <laughs> that's true honey that's true so all right well i'm, I'm gonna stop one-handed trying to get up my vitamins um and i'm gonna go edit the vlog from this week he's gonna go to the woods and I'll see you later. Oh wait, I want to show you guys before I do that. So, I don't normally, whoops, I don't normally um, accept this sort of thing when I get offered it, but I thought this would be a fun video to film with Bobby. Right. Yeah. So this is a thing called Try Treats, I think it's called. I don't want to open it because I want it, well, I'll just open it a little bit here. See, this is how it looks so cute. It is. And they sent me a little cute little card. And then, like this. Um, maybe I can get the card out without opening it. I just wanted to show the folks something here quick. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important when you're out for the whole day to, to keep your strength. And and, one oh, of the best things you can have is beef jerky. Is beef, the man's addicted to beef jerky. And this is even prime rib. Right. I mean, whoo! That's like the, this the, is like the, the best of the best. You know? I'm going to be like royalty all the oh, today. Oh, jeez. You are every day. I know. If I had my own land, so, it would be true. Oh, enough. Folks, help them. <laughs> um, do you know that the land he wants to buy would be as much as buying another house? Pretty sure if we're buying another, oh, if we're spending that much money, it would be on a cottage or a cabin or something. And not <laughs> Anyway, just a little back and forth for us. So um, this. I'm showing you just the bottom half of this because I don't want you to see the um, what we're going to be trying. So it's trytreats.com is the thing. And um, obviously you don't need the explore part. That's to just learn more about the ones that are on here. Um, but what's weird is that he didn't send me any kind of information aside from this. When I had emailed them back, I said, okay, you know, I, I would do this. And I always ask what they're looking for from me, you know. But what, what we're going to do... Right game. <laughs> He's scared. <laughs> what we're going to do is do a video. I think on my main channel even, honey. Of um, us trying the treats. So anyway, um, the treats are from, these ones are from Serbia and Croatia. He asked me um, what country I wanted them from because they have several different countries. And I said, um, well, I said pick Europe. Um, and so this is what he sent me. All right. So with that, um, I will we, we, we will record a video together. I don't know when it's going to go up, but we're going to record a video together trying these. And uh, oh, that ought to be interesting. What you mean? Oh yeah, it's just tr it's like pre-made treats from oh, another I thought we country. Had like oh no 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 no, it's like um, like awesome. snacks like. Okay, so anyway, that was funny. We just had a conversation. We had a discussion 
because he thought they were treats I had to make. I was like, no, no, they're like, you know, like chips and, and you know, like treats, like that kind of stuff. So, anyway, I do have a plan of when I think we can possibly record that, but we'll see. We'll get it up as soon as possible. Either way, I imagine it will be hysterical. All right, it is about 10 to 6, and I just edited the video from the week, which was... All me, no Bob. Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> when I do my check-ins in the morning, that's just kind of the way that it works. Let me put my note over here. Um, I also realized, speaking of um, that for some reason I'm spitting um out of my mouth a lot. And I'm clearly out of practice with the outfits of the day because I was forgetting to angle the camera down so that the lines don't go through them. So I apologize for that. That it's not going to make people happy, I know. And it's so hard to get to show you guys my outfits of the day very well anyway because it's so dark in here. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'll continue to do them or not. We'll have to see. But So, I want to try to leave the house by like 7 or so. We'll see. I, I don't know. This took long. I actually wanted to leave earlier than that. But... Um, I want to get to Kohl's. It opens at 7, and I thought, well, I could do that first. Take coffee to my friend Eric that, you know, that does my hair. Okay, sorry, I got distracted by needing to plug my curling iron in, and then I did, like, three other things, and, well, you know. <laughs> you know how that goes. So, I wanted to leave just a little bit earlier, because I wanted to kind of get Kohl's done first. Where, where my, the salon that I go to, where Eric works, is at kind of the side of town that that Kohl's is on. And that's the only thing I really need to be on that side of town for. Sorry, that was like awkward camera holding. Um, again with the um, gosh, game. I'm driving myself crazy. So, let's try to continue without saying um. So I wanted to get kind of that stuff to hand a little, a little bit earlier since Kohl's opens at, at 7. And then I wanted to be at the dealership by 8, but... I just don't think that's going to happen, so I may end up doing the dealership on my way out of town for my own change. So I want to show you, and I'll show you this on, because this is not going to do it justice. <laughs> not at all. But I've got this sweater from Nordstrom, and it's really pretty. It's kind of got this, this kind of reminds me of Rebel a little bit. Maybe a little more pink than Rebel, lipstick from MAC. But um, then it's got black, a little gray, but it's so soft, and it's kind of, you know, blankety-like. But it's a cardigan, and it's a little bit longer. So cute. So I got that. Um, um, I have my, I got a Dia, a box from Dia and Co. too, that um, plus size styling service. And I don't know how I feel about it this time. I, I like some of the things, and I'm not so sure about other things. I'm coming out here to get the, the boots that I got as well. So I wanted to get a pair of boots that would have a little more black boots. It would have a little more traction on the bottom. The flat ones that I have from Lane and um, then the ones I have from Melody. All I'm looking at them all in there. All of the ones that I have are like a smooth sort of bottom and I just wanted something. Now these are suede so I'm going to have to spray them. It's funny. I just remember last year I talked about spraying boots and people were like what are you talking about? People that don't live in the land of ice and snow. So I, there's just a spray that you spray them with to make sure that they don't get ruined by the salt and water and that sort of thing. But anyway, so these were on sale. I'll link them below if they're still on sale. These are Sam Edelman. I don't know what they're called or anything, but I just like this kind of detailing here. And uh, like this is a little bit sort of worn on the toe. But see this? That is some serious Wisconsin traction right there. <laughs> so with that, like I said, um, it's just about 6 o'clock or it's a little after now. I need to hop in the shower, and um, fortunately it's the second day hair, so all I'll have to do is come out and put some curls in my hair. And then I'm going to get some makeup on, nothing fancy today, and I'm going to get going. I'm going to try to get out of here by 7 o'clock. Let's see if that happens. Alright, so I did a couple other projects, and now it's 7.40. I just kind of rearranged my day a little bit. I'm trying to get this. It's, it's kind of like that green sweater I had on um, earlier this week. I'm trying to get it to lay properly. But we'll see how the lighting looks here. Okay, so I'm trying to remember to hold the camera up and at an angle so that you don't get those pink lines. So this is what that looks like. It's just really fun, um, kind of Aztec-y, soft and warm at the same time. Um, and then these are the Sam Elman boots. And this necklace, I don't know. 
I've had it for a long time. These, oh no, I do know. Francesca. And the earrings are from Francesca's as well. So I'm just going to pack up my stuff here, grab a protein bar, and head out the door. I have my video. It's going to convert while I'm gone. So I have my Sephora bag all packed up here with I've back to Mac stuff. I have that <laughs> perfume that I didn't open that I need to exchange for the right one, which is supposed to be a cologne, not a perfume. I'm returning that Becca powder foundation that I did not like at all. I have the Bite Rewind kits in there. My receipts got some back to Mac stuff. Face of the day. I'm going to come over here. I'm not sure how well this will work. Sometimes it looks good over here, sometimes not so much. So all I have on, and this is the foundation I'm currently using up. The Revlon Color Stay Whipped is what I was using up, but all of a sudden, in like a week, it went from looking decent to um, like dried out somehow on my face. And my face didn't change. Like when I put other foundations on it, my face is fine. So I don't know. Anyway, so I used a good amount of it. I just, and I got it 75% off when I bought it. I decided it was fine. I could let it go. So I've switched to the Pond's BB cream. I wanted to use that up before that goes bad. And they don't make that anymore. So I thought I might as well, to my knowledge, they don't make it anymore. So I'm using it up. Anyway, so I have that. I have the mineral, the loose mineral double double wear, use loose mineral wear, whatever from Estee Lauder over the top of that. MAC Gentle on my cheeks. And then my eyes are just MAC Shroom with some cork in the crease. And then I took the Sephora Shadow Pencil in brown. It's just called brown, but it's more bronze than it is brown. And I smudged that on my upper lash line. A little bit of a wing, if you can see that. And that's it. And some black in the tight line. And my lips are Night Moth and Fru from MAC. So... All right, with that, I'm going to finally get out of here, and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Okay, um, it's 11.22, and I have completed most of my chores, my errands, I should say. Where? I don't know where my list is. Oh, I have to consult the list. Sam, Sephora, oil change, yes. I didn't back to Mac because I didn't feel like carrying it in there. Um, got went to Kohl's. So yes, I did everything, except for Kirkland's. I want to go to Kirkland's to look for some stuff to decorate on top of my piano. Um, but I'm not so sure about that right now. I have I have an appointment at, at noon, which I'll tell you in a second. But it takes about 10 minutes to get there. So I don't really have enough time to go to Kirkland's really and look around without taking the chance of being late. So anyway, I went in to see Eric. Not to see him. I went in to bring him a coffee and say hey, since I was in the area. And... Um, while I was there, it's been a long time since I got a massage. I was trying to do it every time I got my hair colored, so every two months, and it really was helping with my headaches. And I haven't gone now for almost four months, and my headaches are definitely back. <laughs> definitely back. And I think it's just stress and, you know, sitting at a computer a lot for work and for, you know, YouTube and that sort of thing. So, um, the point of it is I thought, well, while I'm here, I'll just go in. I'm looking at somebody being like, what's she doing? Um, while I'm here, I thought I will just go in and see if they have an appointment. And so Anthony did, the guy that I get my massages from, he had an appointment at noon. And then Eric was saying that we were talking, he was like, well, hey, I'll just, you know, why don't I just give you a blow when you're done? And I was like, okay then, let's do it. So we'll see what time I get done with that, whether I come back to Kirkland's or whether I just go home from there. But um, I was just, so I just was in the mall and I did my return to, you know, Sephora and all that stuff. And I was at Mac getting a... Uh, primer which I'll talk about in a haul but the point of this is I met a subscriber her name is Lisa and she and I have corresponded back and forth before and she lives in Green Bay actually so it was really nice to meet you Lisa I'm so glad that you said hi and um, I felt I wish I would have had more time to go you know and maybe shop or something not that she would have wanted to but you know one of these days I need to do another meetup either here or in Green Bay I just feel like here makes more sense because there's the Macy's and Sephora and everything but anyway it was really nice to meet you, Lisa. So, all right, with that, I'm going to, um, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go to Starbucks to get a spinach feta wrap um, so I can um, have some lunch. Because I had a protein bar this morning I haven't eaten since. So I think I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to head over to the salon. All right, it's about 2.20, and I'm headed home now. I just went to Old Navy, and I found, like, the perfect denim chambray shirt. But the whole store apparently is 50% off and so it's ridiculous. I probably would have been in line for a half hour and it's just not worth that to me. So I'll just order it online. <laughs> and I did not find a camo t-shirt, which is what I'm searching for. So I'll search the internet for that tonight. 
So I'm going to head home. Um, this, my massage was really good and so much needed. Like he kept saying, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> when he would hit different like knots in my back, it's just been too long. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to head home. Um, Eric was there. I don't even know. I can't remember because I snapped and I'm vlogging. And I don't know which is which, but, um, I dropped Eric off coffee and he said, um, well, after your massage, I have time. I'll, you know, I'll wash and blow out your hair. So he did that. If that, in case you're wondering why it looks a little bit different, it's because Eric did it, not me. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to head home and, uh, yeah, we'll see what we see. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning and, um, I don't know how much footage I have from yesterday. I feel like there's a lot, but I never ended the vlog, which drives me crazy when I put up a vlog that I have no end to. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I don't know if this is a new vlog or not. If it is, hello and welcome. <laughs> um, so yesterday when I got home, I just started doing stuff around here and um, then I was watching some videos and editing something and um, I just, I kind of forgot I was vlogging. <laughs> Because I'm a little out of practice. So, at any rate, it is 6.24. And I'm just going to make some coffee. I got up and did my hair. So, yes, I'm trying to think when you guys... When did I vlog last? I'm sure it was after my massage and stuff. So, you know you know that um, I had my hair... <clears throat> excuse me, done yesterday by Eric. So, all I did today was, um, you know, put up in a shower cap. And then I threw some curls in it to make it look relatively presentable after sleeping on it. I don't know how people get up and their hair looks like perfect. How do, how do people do that? Because I must move around too much in my sleep or something. I don't know. All I know is that I don't wake up and look like that. <laughs> I have to do a whole lot of work to make my second day hair look presentable. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Bob is gone already out in the woods. I'm going to have some pumpkin spice coffee with some cinnamon creamer. I don't mind the pumpkin. I like, I mean, the pumpkin spice coffee is fine, um, but I want the golden French toast coffee that comes in that winter combo. And so to get to the golden French toast, I have to have the pumpkin spice. You know what I mean? But you know what I've developed an appreciation for this year is the gingerbread. So for those of you that have been around a little bit, you're saying to yourselves, well, Kristen, none of those are decaf. No, they are not. I uh, have fallen off the decaf wagon. <clears throat> I blame the Autumn Harvest Blend and my lack of willpower in regard to the Autumn Harvest Blend. So uh, we'll see what happens after the holidays. I am um, pretty much having just one cup of coffee a day. Um, if I have a second one, then it is a decaf. But yeah, it's real life, folks. It's real life. All right. This, by the way, is what the coffee that Bob's trying this time from Sam's. I have to get that put away. The only thing I got at Sam's yesterday. I, I'll tell you what, I was really good with my errands. I was back home, I want to say by 3.30. I went to Old Navy yesterday because I was going to get this chambray shirt or denim shirt, whatever you want to call it, same thing. Um, actually, what I was looking for is, do you guys ever see a look and you're like, oh, I must have that look. So, A, okay, first of all, it's Crystal from Ms. Crystal. She used to be Miss Crystal Makeup. <clears throat> Excuse me, but now her channel is just Miss Crystal because she does a lot of different things. I'll link her below. Um, she had a picture on Instagram where she was wearing a camo t-shirt, a denim shirt over the top. You know, like a denim collar, like a chambray shirt. And then the Sutton necklace from Stella and Dot. And I have gone back and forth and back and forth on that, Stella, on that Sutton necklace. So I went ahead and ordered the Sutton necklace. And... <laughs> Um, and that's why I went into Old Navy because I was looking for a chambray shirt. I mean, you could find, buy them anywhere, but I don't want to pay a ton of money for something I'm only going to wear here and there, you know. And I do have another chambray shirt, um, from, did I get it from ASOS? That I like, but it doesn't kind of fit the way I wanted it, this to fit for the, anyway. So I went in there looking for a camo t-shirt and a chambray shirt. Well, I found the chambray shirt. I didn't find a camo t-shirt. <clears throat> I wandered around, I tried it on, whatever. So I went to get in line, and I thought there were a lot of people in the store, but whatever, I wasn't paying attention. I get to the line, and it is, I, I would have been in that line for probably a good half hour or 45 minutes, and this is at the end of the day. And I was like, nope, that's not happening. So I took a picture of the tag. I was like, I will order it at home and find a free shipping coupon or something. 
So, um, I did not find a free shipping coupon, but I did have a $5, like, Old Navy rebate thing, whatever. Because I have an Old Navy Visa card. So, anyway, I ended up redeeming that, which paid for the shipping, and now the shirt's on its way to my house. So, the reason that, that Old Navy was so crazy like that, A, was because, um, I think, anyway, because it's opening weekend of deer hunting, and... Like I said, I can't remember now. This is the problem with Snapchatting and vlogging. I don't know what I said where. Um, but this, that week, the weekend of, opening weekend of deer hunting is called Widow's Weekend because all the women get left behind. And um, they do a lot of sales and that sort of thing. So the whole store at Old Navy was 50% off. So would it have been worth it to wait? Maybe. Is my time worth a little bit more than the $7 or whatever I would have saved? <laughs> so, that, that, that is, was the, yes, the end of yesterday. I can't remember if I said that in the vlog yesterday or not. So, if that was a repeat, my apologies. So, I just, like I said, then after that I just came home, did a bunch of stuff. Um, Bob came home and I, I heated up some soup. You know, I, you know what I did? I went through Panera to get um, Cinnamon Crunch Bagel. So that Bob would have one this morning. Because he doesn't want to eat like, he didn't want to eat like eggs and stuff this, this yesterday morning or today. Anyway. So I got him cinnamon crunch bagel. And then I was like, you know what? We had two leftover containers of that broccoli soup from last week. And I was like, if I get one cup of soup and then mix it in with those two, and then it might just give the soup a little more oomph. Which I did, and it did. <laughs> so that's what I had last night was the rest of that broccoli soup. Um, because... We need to clean out the fridge. I was going to make chili today. I'm going to heat up, or I'm going to um, brown the hamburger with onion in it and then put it in the freezer because there's no room in my refrigerator because I have two turkeys in my refrigerator. Look, I mean, I mean, this is the state of my refrigerator. It gives me heart palpitations. Tonight we're having the rest of the cat, of the chicken pie, um, but I can't even with this, ugh. I can't even with it. It gives me, oh, I gotta put these back in. It gives me heart palpitations. I can't, I cannot. All right, so here's what's happening. I'm gonna continue to watch YouTube. Did I talk about the YouTube feed and the ridiculousness is, that is YouTube feed and that you can't remove things that you've watched if they if they get like shoved down in another category? I don't know what's going on with the, the YouTube subscription feed, but I do not appreciate it. Let me just say that. That was a little bit of a rant, huh? All right, I'm going to take some vitamins and get out some yogurt and put on some makeup and make my list. I need to go to the grocery store. If I get done quick enough, I might go do it before church. Otherwise, I'll be doing it after church. All right, so <laughs> just about 8 o'clock. And it was one of those days. Sugar, I dropped something. It was one of those days where I um, just wanted to play with my makeup. <laughs> And uh, this is what happened, and I literally was just, I decided I wasn't going to go grocery shopping for, before church, and then I would just play. I don't know how long I spent in there, but it was quiet in the house. i got to turn this. Our humidity is turned up so high in the humidity control system that um, <laughs> the windows are dripping a little bit. <laughs> That'd be my fault, because I turned it up too high. Anyway, um, my, my outlook got out of control is what I'm saying. I mean, not, not that it's bad. It's just that it took longer than I thought, and thus, no grocery shopping. Okay, so really quick ending to this vlog. It's Monday morning, and I'm going to actually start a new vlog, but I just, I, you guys know I don't like it when there's no ending to the vlog. <laughs> Yesterday, I just got involved in some projects, and I did a little bit of sitting around and a little bit of resting, and... Then some more projects. So I, I just, I'm out a little, like I said, I'm a little out of practice and didn't pick up the camera. I hope that you guys had a really great weekend. If you, I don't know if I'll have another vlog up before Thanksgiving. So if you are in the States, I'm wishing you the happiest of Thanksgivings and really safe, safe time and enjoyable time with your friends and family. If you are not in the States, I just hope that you have a really great week and we will see you very soon. Bye.